I'm Reese Stein at your leisure in a bay off Florida's Gulf Coast in search of one of the world's gentlest and most endangered animals. No, it's not the Florida gator nor the brown pelican which has made a comeback since the ban on DDT, nor the fish-eating anhinga akin to Utah's cormorants, nor the secretive and stealthy American bitter. It's the strange and wonderful Florida manatee. They're endangered, um, I think, pretty much all over the world. Um, they're common here in Florida, but even then, they're only common because they go to where the warm water is, so we kind of know where to find them. Our kids gave Marianne and me the gift of manatees for Christmas, at least the manatee experience. From the Crystal River docks, we motor across the bay to the spring-fed river where dozens of manatees have sought refuge from the winter chill of the Gulf of Mexico. We don masks and fins for a wildlife adventure of a lifetime to actually swim with these gentle giants in their natural habitat. It's a miracle. It's another miracle. <laughs> I get to swim with the manatees. It was fun. I was a little apprehensive about it because I'm always apprehensive about what I think it might be cold but it was wonderful and what the water was fine and the manatees were friendly. Even on this un-Florida-like day where the air temp drops into the 60s, the water is a comfortable 72 degrees and we joined the throngs for this amazing adventure. Oh, it was wonderful. We got in the water and right away we could see manatees. It's murky in the river, but as you get up close to the springs, it clears out and the manatees are just hanging out by the springs. Manatees are marine mammals that may grow to 10 feet long and weigh half a ton. They can stay submerged for up to 20 minutes before sticking their nose up for a quick sniff. They can't survive in water below 60 degrees. Loss of habitat and collisions with boat propellers are the most serious threats. Note the scars on this animal's back. Only about 6,000 survive around Florida, and last year nearly 600 died of mysterious causes. But here in the Crystal River, they're safe even from the probing palms of swimmers. The manatees were awesome. I really, uh, I really liked how they just came right up to you. I like seeing them and how they wouldn't like run away from you. You could just go right up to them. What do you like about the animals themselves? They're so cute. That's an amazing experience. How often do you get that close to that big of an animal? <laughs> and not have it bite your head and off. And not at well. <laughs> Even then, you know, it's just amazing. You get in the water with them and they don't seem to care about you. In fact, they sometimes even want to be with you. It's cool. I mean, you're just swimming with like this, you know, multi-hundred pound animal right next to you. I mean, it's just like swimming with the elephants. It's really cool. In fact, manatees are most closely related to elephants and may have returned to the sea, trading in legs for flippers. Florida groups are working to protect manatees and their habitat through reduced boat speed zones and secure sanctuaries. It's a species worth the effort and a unique Florida experience even better than Disney World. Or else, I can't think of anywhere in the world where you can do something like this and be this close to wildlife. Reese Stein at your leisure with this week's Where To Adventure at Crystal River, Florida.